And that is why it's important not to rely on foreign imports. It just so happens I have a story about that very thing. Superfly Guy 48. <laughs> Once upon a time in Fableville, there was a holiday called Medallion Day, where all of the town's inhabitants would race to recover the town's special medallion. Whoever found it first got a prize. It's Medallion Day! Harry and Harrietta Rabbitson were first up that morning. But they weren't the first to get running. Did we get a babysitter? Across the street to the Rabbitsons lived the Wolf Gangs. Now they were ready to rumble. G27, unless your name is Stephen Hawking, I suggest you cool your jets and let me tell the story. Now, where was I? Now, with the wolf gangs and the rabbitsons on the road, Mr. Galapagos has finally gotten himself ready. No gas. Mr. Galapagos had a lot of time to make up considering his much faster neighbors. Mm. Now, all the people of Fableville knew where the medallion was supposed mm. to be. That wasn't the hard part. Harrietta? Yeah? I really like what you did with your hair today. You know, we could maybe pull over there and, and, and rest the tires because the tires look... But every year, it seemed like the citizens of Fableville had the darndest time getting there. The Rabbitsons were, um, otherwise occupied, but the Wolfgangs were getting closer by the second. I think I'm gonna set a record this year. Why do you think you set the record, not me? Well, you're a bitch. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor Birdman. Mm. Hi. Oh, get the biodegradable diapers. God, you're strong. And of course, Mr. Galapagos was still moving slowly toward the special medallion. Turtling down the road, turtling down the road. Come on, boy! Turtling down the road, turtling down the road, turtling down the road, just me. I'm handsome man, I'm cute, and that's the poop joke. I'm turtling down the road, just for me. Now that the Wolf Kings were getting so close, it seemed greed was getting the better of them. <laughs> Oh my, look at the time. And I've got to go to bingo. <laughs> so I suppose I should just jump to the end. <laughs> you look very familiar. Medallion. Great actor. I can't read. For the Dear Medallion Seekers, for the last time, there is no medallion. There never was any medallion. Stop searching for something that doesn't exist and go do something useful like create an alternative energy source. <laughs> 
sign. Mayor Birdman. Reading is hard. No. Oh, let me see that. And the moral of the story is, you can spend your entire life searching for something, and you can believe it is right there, around the corner, and if you can only find it, your life will have meaning. Guess what? Maybe we're just a bunch of biological soup, endlessly swimming in total chaos. And that, students, is atheism. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow. Mayor Birdman. Me yeah, yeah, medallion day, blah, blah, blah. No, oh, I took it out. Yeah, I took it out. And I put in a dead fish. <laughs> and a note saying they need to get a life. <laughs> yeah, well, are you kidding? This medallion is great. I've been looking for it, it's just what I needed. Yeah, now what's this other business? A new stadium. We got enough stadiums as it is. We don't need a new stadium. What else? <laughs> Smoking man? No way. They'll, they'll never accept it. They'll never. Never. Never in a million years. No way. No. no listen. Listen. I, I'm done. Stupid pigs. <laughs>